Our first member question says, I struggle with staying focused on a room and I flit from one decluttering project to another and never really finish anything. So what can you do if you're easily distracted when you're decluttering? And more often than not, you find yourself ending in a completely different room, working on a completely different project with no idea how you even got there. Oh my gosh, you guys, I totally get it. The struggle is definitely real. And to help, I have a few tips that I used myself when I was getting easily distracted when I first started decluttering my own home. Now, do you remember the old saying, how do you eat an elephant? Well, the answer is one bite at a time. So each room you work on, I want you to view that as your elephant. Each area inside of that room is your bite. And your job is to just focus on the area you're working on until you are all the way done before you start another area, a.k.a take another bite of that elephant. The best part of decluttering by area in a room is that the room will begin to take shape without you even realizing it. And it's almost like magic as each area blends into another, finally transforming your entire room. Okay. If that's not quite enough to keep you focused on your bite of your elephant, I have a few extra tips, some of them a little bit silly, but they actually work and they might just help you keep your head on the project so you don't get distracted. Number one, make a large, awful sign and put it on the door. Hi, Sandy. Put it on the door of the room you are working on. I'm talking large and awful. Oops. Large and awful. And if you put that on the door in the room you are working on, it will be your reminder every single time you walk past that room to get in there and to get to work. That's what we need sometimes are those visual reminders, those virtual tap or those taps on the shoulder that say, hey, remember me? You promised to get me cleaned out and organized. You need to get in here and work on me. So put that sign up big and bold and you cannot take that sign down until you are done in that space. Next, mark an area on each day of your calendar for just the week ahead, just do seven days at a time in a bright marker so it really stands out and in turn grabs your attention. So I did one here and I, I did it like I was working in my closet. A closet, in my opinion, is one of the hardest areas to declutter and organize. So I thought that would be a great example for how to turn a big decluttering project of a closet into small decluttering projects you can tuck within your day. So for example, on Monday, I put work 10 minutes decluttering my hanging clothes inside of the closet. You want to be specific when you write this down so you don't have to second guess what you meant by an abbreviated statement. Then on Tuesday, work 20 minutes finishing to declutter my hanging clothes inside of my closet. Then on Wednesday, I put work 20 minutes decluttering my shoes inside of my closet. Then on Thursday, I wrote work 10 minutes on decluttering the top shelves in my closet. On Friday, I wrote work 10 minutes decluttering the middle shelves in my closet. And then on Saturday, I wrote clean my clutter-free closet. And on Sunday, I wrote, organize my clutter-free closet. Here, I'll hold it close just in case you want to see it. By breaking it down and being super specific as to what is expected of me, both as far as area, task, and time frame, it allows me to not second guess myself and to just get in there and get busy and work on the space that I have set. Keep your decluttering sessions short, just 10 to 20 minutes at a time. This will make the project less overwhelming. If you find yourself starting to jump from this project to another one, I want you to stop and just get yourself back into your, your original spot. There's no other way to fix that other than to stop, turn around, and get back into where you started out. When things get hard, I want you to remember your why, the reason you are doing this. The why is your finish line and that the finish line that you are working for each time you do another decluttering session in your home. So remember your why, write it down, 
put it on a post-it note, put it where you'll always see it. That is going to be the reminder while, why you are working so hard so that you stay in, in the moment, stay in the room and stay busy all the way to death.